Hello, hello. Welcome to Homeschooling with Heart. My name is Steph, and thank you so much for joining me today. I do some of my work in here, and most of the time when I'm in here is when inspiration strikes, and I write things down, you know, that, um, <laughs> that I have for YouTube ideas, but I, I never really get to film them um, because it feels like once I get the camera set up or, um, you know, and everything just set up correctly, the moment has passed. Um, so I thought I would buy a, a little tripod so that when I do feel that, that idea coming on, that I could go ahead and film it. And, and just see what happens, you know. Um, so, I have a list. Of course, I have a list. I have a list of, of things that I have written down um, about um, giving some advice to uh, first-time homeschoolers or homeschoolers that may be struggling with their uh, decision at the moment. And... Um, you know, I don't have um, five, ten years under my belt. I have a year and a half under my belt. I'm going in uh, to my second year. And I know I always mention um, corporate, and it's because I learned a lot of life skills in corporate that I actually do apply to my daily life, and I actually do use um, when I am doing um, decision making in in our household, so that's um, a that's why I bring up, you know, the fact that I've worked in uh, corporate, um, so that you you kind of know where I'm coming from on that. So um, I, I say that so that you know that everything that I talk about usually comes from. Um, when I'm working on uh, Remy's curriculum, okay, and but tonight was was a little bit different. Tonight I had this, um, I, and I don't I don't really know what to call it. Um, stick around and, and maybe listen to what I have to say. Um, I know that sometimes I can get this uh, kind of lecturing in my voice, but I'm not really lecturing. It is because I have a lecturing tone, um, because I, I raised two boys and I'm a grandmother to a, to a boy. Um, and, you know, you just kind of develop this tone over time, especially when you're going into subjects like I'm going into. I don't really know that this is advice. Maybe it's more uh, tips, you know, um, beginner's tips or, um, you know, my opinion, I guess. Um, you know, and, and, you know, do with it what you will, right? So here is, here's what I have. If you are homeschooling or if you are thinking about homeschooling, and, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know your state's regulations and you know what you're, you're going to teach, um, and maybe you're a few weeks in and it's not the uh, rainbows and, and unicorns and, um, cotton candy and lollipops that um, you thought it was going to be. That's that's homeschooling. It, it isn't. It isn't a. It isn't a picnic. It's not a walk in the park. Um, you're going to have days that you're going to be like, you know, but then you're going to have days that are rainbows and unicorns, and your heart is just going to melt, or your heart's just going to flutter and fly. Um, you're going to have this connection with your children and it's going to be beautiful. Okay. So I'm telling you this because I don't want to uh, discourage you in any way. I just want to um, let you know how I feel about it. Okay. And what has come to me on, and, and, you know, and what is on my heart. So here we go. If we're sitting here talking, right? And, and you say, uh, and for example, you say, Steph, you know, what, what, what would you say to somebody who's maybe just starting out? 
I would say to begin with your, uh, sorry, about the pencil. Um, I would say to begin with your priority is always your children. And if the curriculum that your children are doing is making them cry day in and day out and making you feel bad day in and day out, you need to stop and you need to reconnect with your children. That's my first advice. Your children come first in homeschooling because that's what you're doing. You're homeschooling your children. They come first. Um, and this is where I can kind of sound lecturing and I really don't mean to. It's just how how it comes out. Um, the, the, the second thing is know your children's limitations and know their capabilities. And that's going to help you a lot. The other thing is be honest with yourself. And I don't mean the self that you present to people. I don't even mean the self that you present to your family. I don't even mean the self that you present to your best friend. I mean the self that you look at in the mirror. I mean the self that um, you're in a, a, a family situation and all of a sudden you have to excuse yourself from the room. You go in, you cry wherever it is you cry. My spot is the bathroom, you know, and then gather my thoughts, gather your thoughts and go back and deal with whatever crisis or whatever is going on. It may not be a crisis. It just may be the straw that broke the camel's back. Those limitations are what I'm talking about. And that self is who you need to be talking to. What, be honest with yourself. What are your capabilities? And what are your limitations? And it is okay if this is not your season to homeschool. I'm in a season where I'm attempting to homeschool. I was not a stay-at-home mom. This is my first time being a stay-at-home Mimi. Um, and it feels like a season that this is where I needed to be or, or need to be. When I was raising my children, though, I was not a stay-at-home mom. I was not capable of being a stay-at-home mom. I was capable of providing for my family. I was more of a provider. Now, yes, I was a nurturer and am a nurturer, but I was more a provider, nurturer, juggler, time management person. You know, I, I worked the whole, the whole circle and um, ended up in the hospital a few times because of it, because I was taking on so much. Um, 60, 70 hours a week, you know. So, be honest with yourself because only you know what your limitations are and what your capabilities are. And be honest with the person that you know where your breaking point is. Know when to say no. And if something isn't working, and even though you spent money on it, and even though it is what CLBA, you know, they're all doing, and if it's not working for your children, we're gonna go back to number one, your children are the priority. If it is not working, you need to learn how to let it go. Let it go. Um, yeah, let it go and come back and reconnect with your kids and then find something that will work. 
and that can be in a form of a workbook that can be in a form of free resources so that you're not just throwing good money after bad right the point of reconnecting after a curriculum um, shutdown or a curriculum meltdown in some cases is to find out about your child and find out about their learning style and I'll go into what I mean by learning styles in another in another video but find out what and how they learn and so that again comes back to limitations and capability. Make your child your priority so you've got to know your why why are you homeschooling because if you don't have your why, if you don't have if you don't have your goal in neon lights, then then what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Um, so your goal needs to be in neon lights. If it's to get through a year of homeschooling, then you know that's your goal. If it is to homeschool through a certain period, then that's your goal. Me not being able to be a stay-at-home mom didn't mean I was any less of a mother. It just meant I, I, I parented in a different way. Maybe this is not your season to be a homeschool mom. And that's okay. You didn't fail. You didn't fail. It's just not your season to be a homeschool mother or father or grandmother. Or, you know, in public school, they're all learning the same curriculum. The only thing is, some are getting straight A's, some are getting B's, some are getting C's, some are getting a mixture, some are downright failing, some are just interested in sports, some are interested in academics. Um, not everybody makes the honor roll in public school. Not everybody makes the A-B honor roll in school. Not everybody is the quarterback in school. Not everybody is the head cheerleader in school. So there are things in life that, that we can apply to homeschooling. Homeschooling can be a lonely spot if you do not have a, a support group. And if, even if it's a Facebook group, know though when you're getting your advice, it's okay to seek advice. And when you're getting your advice, know that it's coming from a support group not a i want to sell you something group <laughs> when our first curriculum didn't work with remington and i had spent a pretty penny on it and it didn't work with remington i went and joined a lot of different curriculum facebooks and i looked at the problems that all of them were having there were two that stood out supporting. There was one that stood out that was extremely supportive. And I used that curriculum. It's not our main curriculum, but I used that curriculum because it was an uplifting group and it is an uplifting group. And when somebody has a problem, nobody just pounces like, you should know this, you know. Um, so if you're seeking advice, if you're seeking a new curriculum, go in and join these groups. You know, it's okay to shop around in Facebook. You know, you're shopping around for curriculum. So it's okay to shop around and see what kind of problems other people are having. And if you had that same problem, well, then X that curriculum, right? Um, and if... The groups aren't very supportive, but, you know, the curriculum sounds okay. Well, then X that group and find a different group within that curriculum. Because So, so far we've gone over, uh, number one, the priority being your children and making sure that your relationship stays intact and that and capabilities can apply to everything on this list. If you take away nothing else, take away, be honest with yourself, make your children your priority, and limitations and capabilities.
Assets, Limitations and Capabilities. Budget, Limitations, Capabilities. Curriculum, Limitations, Capabilities. Your Ability to Teach, Limitation, Capability. Your Child's Limitation on the Amount of Information they Can Absorb, Limitation, Capability. Um, the, um, the amount of YouTube influencers you should be watching, um, the um, uh, uh, limitation capability, the, um, the, the straw breaking the camel's back, and the, um, and the saying no, limitation capability, okay? Let it go. Let it go. Limitation, capability. Okay? As far as influencers, I, I, it is fine to watch champagne and caviar. And it is fine to dream about champagne and caviar. Maybe not champagne and caviar. Feather bed, Lamborghini, a maid, room service <laughs> all day. <laughs> Uh, you know, somebody doing your hair, you know, your makeup and uh, designer clothes or, or what have you, you know. But don't let that flow over into your homeschool and your children and your expectations. Now, it is fine to want to kind of aspire to that, right? If, if, if your goal is to is to be like that, that's that's fine. But know this, and this is what I believe in my religion. Um, I'm a Christian. There's no such thing as perfection on this side of Eden because I'm a sinner. Mm -mm, no, I'm not perfect in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't believe anybody is perfect. You can aspire to be a better version of yourself. And that, my friends, is why I did not make a good stay-at-home mom. I did not give my children a better version of myself when I was a stay-at-home mom. But when I worked, when I provided and nurtured and, and did all those other things, I gave them the best version of me. Whatever your endeavors are, make sure that your children are the priority. And make sure that they're getting the best version of you. It is why we go into the bathroom or the bedroom or the closet or the car or wherever to cry. And in all actuality, what is only happening is we are cleansing our soul. We are cleansing our soul, asking God to, to help us most of the time. If, if you're a praying person, um, if you're uh, not, then, you know, you're doing your meditation after, after you have cried, right? Your deep breathing. Then you can offer the better version. But you also know your limitations. So can you, at that point, go out and offer a better version of yourself? Or is that when you say, I got to call it quits for the night? Okay. Only you know your limitations and your capabilities. And like I said, I made a better mother. They got the better version of me because I didn't stay at home. So it's true with my grandson. When I worked, I, I mean, I can see the difference. When I worked and when I tried to do everything, in the condition that I'm in now with my, my health, he wasn't getting the best version of me. He was getting a good version of me, but not the best version of me. So, you know, again, that just goes back to limitations and capabilities.
last thing that I'm going to say is don't compare yourself. Don't. Don't do that nonsense. Don't compare yourself. If Jay and her children are four weeks ahead of you, then they're four weeks ahead of you, even if you started at the same time. It's okay. Your kids aren't behind. Go to the public school analogy I gave you. If they were in public school doing the same curriculum, some would be on the honor roll and some wouldn't. That doesn't mean that the next six weeks, others are on the honor roll and some have dropped off the honor roll. Okay? So please try not to compare yourself because your situation is different, your family is different, you are unique, and that is what is beautiful about you and your family. But if it is your season, and if you are going forward with homeschooling, then that is what you're supposed to do. That is what you're supposed to do. The only thing that I'm doing today is telling you what is on my heart because I was stopped in my tracks to do so. And I put a piece of myself out there that, um, believe you me, I, I normally wouldn't do. So I feel that somebody needed to hear that. And uh, maybe it'll resonate with somebody out there. Prioritize. Be honest with yourself. Research curriculum. Let it go when it doesn't work. Um, and make sure you're getting your advice and your support from a different place than you're getting your, ah, oh, this is where I come to just watch pretend perfection. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, don't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself. Um, be your own self. Ask for advice when needed. Ask for help when needed. People are there to help. There's a topic that you would like me to cover. I would be glad to cover it. If you hear this big movie in the background, it's because my husband and grandson are in our media room and the TV is very loud. Um, but, uh, yeah, very, the, that's it. That's, that's exactly what was on my heart tonight. And that's exactly what I was supposed to say when I was supposed to say it. So, I hope that it didn't feel like a lecture and I hope that you have enjoyed portions of this video and I hope that we were able to help in some way because that is what homeschooling with heart wants to do is help so until we meet again be good to each other bye bye